What up, what up, Wimbush here. And today I wanna to show you the correct way to get the height scaling whenever you're using a height map to build terrains inside of Unreal Engine. And before we get started, I wanna give a big shout out to my buddy Tyler. I actually asked him this question this morning and he gave me the mathematical formula to be able to figure this out. So make sure you give him a follow on YouTube. I'll leave his YouTube channel in the description down below. Now this isn't necessary, but I'm using World Creator for this example. Now the reason I'm using World Creator is because with World Creator, I can figure out the correct height proportion by just coming down here in the lower right hand side, hitting GPU information, and then up here in the top left, it's going to tell you your terrain height. So this is going to be important for being able to figure out the math for whenever we bring it into Unreal Engine. But if you're using other programs like Gaia or if you're getting dim data from satellite information and you're able to get the correct height information for your terrain, then this is absolutely going to work for you. So to get started, I'm going to come up here to where it says selection mode. I'm going to come down here to landscape and it's going to say create new, but I want to go to import from file. Now right here where it says height map file, this is going to be the file that I created with World Creator. But again, you could use any grayscale image. So right here where we had the three dots, I'm going to select this. And this is where I have my height map that I exported out from World Creator. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to open it up. And now you'll see this wireframe inside of your viewport. Now this is the important part because right here where it says scale, we want to change it out on the Z axis. Now I'm going to open up my calculator. And with my calculator open, this is where the math is going to come in. So I came back into World Creator so that I could get the height information. So it's about 110 meters. And so I'm just going to type in... 110 meters and I'm going to divide that by 512. Now I'm going to hit enter and this is going to give us a calculation of 0.21. So with this information, we want to take this decimal point and move it over to slots. So our Z height is going to be 21.484. So down here, inside of my scale, right here inside the blue slot, I'm going to type in 21.484. And then for number of components, this is just something that I do. I like putting it at 15. I notice, at least for me specifically, if I have it higher than that, sometimes it makes my system crash. And so I notice whenever I bring it down to 15, it seems to just work. And now I'm going to click on import. And now let me scroll up into my scene. And you can see that now our height looks the way that it should. So I'm going to pull in World Creator so that we could just compare how it looks. So I have World Creator open up in the top window up here. And if I'm comparing it to how it looks inside of Unreal, it looks pretty spot on. So that's going to be the math calculation that you need. You just need to take your height data and you're going to divide it by 512. Once you have your math calculations figured out, you're going to move this over two decimal points and that's going to be your Z scale. So once again, I want to give a big shout out to Tyler for helping me figure that out because I would have had no idea the math that it took to figure out the Z scale. So hopefully this will work for you. And if it does, make sure you give Tyler a follow. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you give me a follow as well. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you in the next video. I'll see you soon. Take care.